Forming part of the Leeward Islands chain, Montserrat is a small island in the Caribbean. It had been dormant for over 300 years. In 1995, the volcano at Chance's Peak began to give off warning signs of an eruption. Small earthquakes and eruptions of dust and ash. Once Chance's Peak had woken up, it then remained active for five years. The most intense eruptions occurred in July 1997. On the 18th of July, the Soufre Hills volcano erupted and soon buried Plymouth in more than 12 metres or 39 feet of mud. destroyed its airport and docking facilities and rendered the southern part of the island, now termed the Exclusion Zone, uninhabitable and not safe for travel. The Exclusion Zone also includes two sea areas adjacent to the land areas of the most volcanic activity. A pyroclastic flow travelled down Mosquito Gort, a steep ravine leading to the sea, This paraclectic surge could not be restrained by the court and spilled out of it, killing 19 people who were in the officially evacuated Streatham Village area. Several others in the area suffered severe burns. The northern part of Montserrat has largely been unaffected by volcanic activity and remains lush and green. In February 2005, a new airport opened, what is now called the John A. Osborne Airport in the north, which is where we'll be landing. Since 2011, it handles several flights daily operated by Fly Montserrat Airways. Docking facilities are in a place at Little Bay where the new capital town is being constructed. The new government centre is at Braids, a short distance away. So we're making our final turn for John A. Osborne Airport. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Abandoned from the Air. See you next time.